Huh? A rattlesnake. Oh, <laughs> mine. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You have one new message. Well, so hi, I'm Neumann Gerard. Neumann Gerard? It just it down on some biz. Anywho, Walt, is it? A nice job saving the Earth from UFOs. Yo, Snake, that's not what happened. There were no UFOs. Really? Then why are there so many alien mystery specials on TV, huh, smarty pants? Spiders. They got four eyes, but they just can't see. Ja, whatever, just dosh up. Now, Walt, go tell your mother that you ate the pie. But... Uh, I, oh, she gets mad and... Stick with the flying saucer story, Walty. It totally works. It does, eh? Walter! Forget about the pig girl! He's a born liar! Walt, please! Tiffany! <gasps> what was that? <gasps> Walt, he broke my favorite pot. I did not! If you didn't break the pot, who did? Who? You mean... What? What? I'm still shaking. Protecting your pot, Mom, almost cost me my life. <gasps> ah! A thick fog rolled in, enveloping the barnyard. Hunting did begin. Emerging alone, a ghostly phantom spirit rose up from his throne. The eerie form stopped. Tiffany jumped and scared him. <clears throat> he ran, the pot dropped. Oh, no, no, that's not what happened. Walt knocked the pot over. Mm-hmm, the pig did it. Yet again, Tiffany forces us to spend valuable time refuting her spidery version of events. Most unseemly. Oh. Did a ghost destroy Esther's pot? Do ghosts even exist? Perhaps, but there is little concrete evidence. So what explains what Walt saw? A clumsy pig! That explains it! <clears throat> Is there something of this world that could waft through the air and cause us all to become dizzy and black out? I submit there is methane gas. Huh? Emitted by cows. Methane gas emitted by cows? You mean farting? Oh. Wigglesworth, don't tell me you think Esther's pot was destroyed by farting cows. I submit that a sudden eruption of methane gas might have caused wide-ranging wooziness, and one of us may have unconsciously knocked the pot over. Uh, I... I believe in ghosts. Why, Penny? I see dead chickens. <laughs> Walter, we'll talk about the pot later. Right now, come inside and let me check your homework. Mm. Um, uh, honey, please tell me you did your homework. The answer is yes. But after I did my homework... Did the dog eat it? <laughs> no, the dog didn't eat my homework. The homework, it ate the dog. Ah! Oh, no! Math homework is tough. Long division, subtraction, those fractions are rough. When I finished primes, Spot and I played some ping pong. I beat Spot three times. I like ping pong too, the homework said with a grin. Spot said, go, shoot. It did not take long. The homework ate Spot quickly. Now I hate ping pong. I always hated homework. Tiffany, do you wish to comment? What? Oh, no, I'm not going to respond to that nonsense. <laughs> Penny, what's wrong? <laughs> That's what happened to Henry. <laughs> Your cousin Henry? He was an excellent student. <laughs> then one day he just disappeared. The homework must have eaten Henry! <laughs> Penny, the homework did not eat Henry. The farmer did. Huh? <gasps> Haven't you noticed that your relatives all go missing on Sundays around dinner time? Huh? <laughs> what? I worry about your future. But, Mom... <sighs> Like your mother, Walt, I too worry about your future. Around here, that is. 
Your talents are wasted on these barnyard yokels. But they're my friends. Yes, yes, I love them as much as you. <laughs> but there's a place where you would make better friends. Where? Viperwood. Viperwood? Oh, no. Hold on, Slim. I can't go to Viperwood. I've never left the barnyard. So leave. I've got a car. Walt's got no money. I've got cash and credit cards. I'll take care of everything. Rob Reap! Huh? I don't know. We can come back whenever you want. Walt, if you ever say back to the barnyard, I'll rush you right home. Tiffany, why don't you come along? Oh, yes, please, Tiffany. You could keep me out of trouble. I don't know. I'm in. What's going on? Mom, we're going to Viperwood. Viperwood? Honey, that's awfully far. Tiffany is going to chaperone. Oh, well, if Tiffany is going... What? Tiffany, please. Uh, sure, I'm going. And I'll look after Walt, I promise. Well, then, have a good journey. Mom. <laughs> Be careful, honey. Welcome to the Two Star Motel. Pretty swank, huh? I'll say. Get used to living in luxury, Walt. <laughs> Are we there yet? Tiffany, look. The Two Star Motel. Uh huh. Jara, you've got to slow down and stop driving like a maniac. Where did this fool snake learn to drive? Wow, I almost had lost you. Gilbert, most bees like to hang out in the hive with the queen. Why are you coming with us? That seems unbe-like. Calm down, Lucy. No. <laughs> oh, excuse me. My granddaughter Lucy is stuck on the roof. Could you folks help get her down? Not a chance, lady. What was that? <laughs> She's hard of hearing. The kid says she likes it up there. Really? Lucy was always terrified of heights. Nope. She's in kitty heaven up there. Let's go. The poor little thing looks scared to death. Not our problemo, Waldo. Walt, get ready to catch her. Come down, Lucy. Walt, come on. You're on your way to the top. You can't waste time on the little people. Poor little dear. Come down. Come down. No. <laughs> Get off this roof! Ah! It'll be okay! Ah! <sighs> Lucy, thank you so much! Thank goodness Lucy is all right. Gerard, what you did was terrible. You have to treat others with kindness and respect. Yeah. Maybe this trip was a bad idea. No, no, Walt. You are absolutely right. Uh, one must be kind and respectful. Lucy, mm, let's make nicey. Kids today, they have no manners. I blame video games. That's what you'll become if you keep lying, Walt. Mm -hmm. The snake has no soul and neither will the pig. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Check us on line seven. I was afraid I'd have to sleep in my car. And this one above lines ten and twelve. I I am so grateful. There are tissues in the restroom. Next. One room for one night, please. Cash or credit card. <sighs> We're awfully tired. Perhaps we could settle in the morning. First thing. Well then, Viper card. <laughs> the card's rejected. 
<laughs> there must be some mistake. He got cash? Ah. <sighs> Uh, there must be something wrong with... Uh, with your machine. Next. I have a reservation, Dr. Pretentious. Those credit card machines are so unreliable. Uh-huh. Walt, Jara's got no morals and no money. Let's go home. We're almost in Viperwood. You're almost a star. A star? Tiffany, we can't give up now. Sometimes you've got to cut your losses. <sighs> Let's talk about this in the morning. Maybe we can stay at Lucy's. Great idea. We'll tell the old bag that we were attacked and robbed, and then we... We'll tell her the truth. We need a place to spend the night. Good idea.